beautiful day. Wind blowing. Beautiful, beautiful day. So here's the patch we tilled up with the with the iron mule from shoot. I think the thing over 50 years old. My neighbor said. But look, she got the job done. I wanted to do this, but. I mean, I ain't know it'd be this soon, man. I just think, I think the most high, that's a patch of Jerusalem artichoke there, as you can, if y'all can see that back there, patch of Jerusalem artichoke. I don't even know the dimensions of this. I just start telling, you know, we got, it's over a hundred Jerusalem artichoke. Well, about a hundred Jerusalem artichoke shoots right there. We definitely got well over a hundred um, in another area of the yard. So we will be able to, um, produce a whole bunch of Jerusalem artichoke. That patch and a patch smaller than that gave us 10 pounds of Jerusalem artichoke this year when we, har when we harvested, okay? So it grew last season though, but we just left it in the ground. And as you can see, this is well over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, well over 10 times that amount, so. Should be able to really get about a hundred pounds of them things. Here we go again. Check. So we're planning on tilling all that in. You know, um, which I was trying to use the hand mule on that, but it was kicking a lot of the compost out of the rows. Still figuring out the best way to do this stuff. You know, learn about a day, you know, trial and error, which I'm enjoying actually learning that way. So, got these beds here. We made like little walls to kind of hold the compost here. So it was piled up in the middle, um, the sod from the left and the right in the middle. And then we kind of made little walls so it wouldn't fall, fall off, so it don't fall off the edges as easy. Dumping the compost here down the center and then just kind of leveling it out after we throw some wood ashes over it. You know, so that bed right there, it's not 100%, we just started with the hand mule down, never had to change it up. Um, as you can see, we still wanted to till it, still wanted to cave it through the middle and put down a bunch of leaves in the center and or hay or straw, old rotted straw, that way the bed will hold more moisture. So we'll see how it works. Those other four beds done, they, they done amazing that way. So we just gotta do these. All first in the most I still working on getting this tree going. Yeah. Slow, y'all. Yeah.